Not even two days after a report that Zion is expected to be done for the season, do we see him post a video dunking earlier tonight on his Instagram. But it kind of looks like he's jumping on a squishy court. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. We've been following this story from the beginning. Of course, Zion has missed this whole season recovering from a foot fracture sustained during the off season. After a long time away from the team, the Pelicans announced at the beginning of March that he had returned to New Orleans and was getting ready to start progressing to full weight bearing exercise and basketball activities. And now 20 days later, we see him doing a dunk that frankly would have won him this year's slam dunk contest. So what in the world is going on here? Is Zion actually gonna be coming back this season or was Shams's reporting correct? The first thing to point out is that doing an isolated dunk while it's putting a lot of load through the bones of the foot, particularly that fifth metatarsal where Zion had a fracture, is different than doing a lot of repetitive, heavy pounding, jump after jump, minute after minute during a full basketball game. Remember, you have to get back into your basketball activities before you can ultimately perform at that level to get back onto the court full time. The other interesting part of this is how the court looks like it's almost bouncy or cushioned when Zion is jumping off of it. And we'll talk about what that might mean next, but first I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. If you're looking to upgrade your wardrobe to something more comfortable, then look no further than the sponsor of today's video, and Collar. I've partnered with Ann Collar a number of times on this channel because I truly do love their dress shirts and want to support what they're doing. Every time you guys have seen me in one of these videos, I'm wearing one of Ann Collar's shirts and ties, and it's honestly the only thing that I'll wear to work as well. The material really does feel like you're wearing athletic wear. It's extremely lightweight, it's breathable, it's wrinkle resistant, so it's really easy to wash and just hang dry, and it's even stain repellent. Also, each shirt is made with a recycled plastic of around 15 water bottles, so not only are you getting something affordable that looks great and is comfortable, but you're also supporting a company that's helping to be aware of the environment and promote sustainability. Use the link in the description below and code BRIAN10 to get 10% off your first purchase. The best part is these shirts are also extremely affordable and with this code you're going to save even more. Ditch those scratchy rough shirts that feel like you're wearing a straight jacket and go check out Ant Collar today to help support this channel and just upgrade your wardrobe into something more comfortable and environmentally friendly. Once again, the link is down below and use code BRIAN10 to get 10% off your first purchase. Thank you again to Ann Collar for sponsoring this video and let's get back to our learning. As many have pointed out with this video, we can see that flex whenever Zion jumps on the court here and then ultimately lands. You can tell how the reflection changes, almost like he's jumping on either like a springboard court, sort of analogous to like a WWE wrestling mat or a gymnastics floor routine, or like there's some sort of just cushioning here beneath the court. Two theories I have with this, and physics can actually help us explain both of them. The first is that this is some sort of modified, sort of specific rehabilitation court, rehab surface, that has a softer surface on it to help players rehab. Obviously that would make sense that while Zion is getting back into his weight bearing and progressive loading, it makes more sense for him to do activities on a cushioned surface because physics tells us that that's going to decrease the force on his joints. Whenever Zion reaches the peak height of his jump, his velocity ultimately reaches a point where it's zero. For a split second, he's no longer moving. But here when he's off the ground, Zion has potential energy. That's a function of how high he is off the ground combined with his body mass. That potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy as he falls to where ultimately, just before he hits the ground, he has a final speed. It doesn't matter at this point what the surface of that cord is, it's purely a function of how high he was in the air and how heavy he is that affect how quickly his body's moving when he comes down to the surface. But now his body has to slow down and stop. It has to go from whatever that speed is just above contact to ultimately completely stopping as his momentum is carried into the court. The momentum impulse relationship in physics states that the force times the change in time equals the change in momentum. This change in momentum, or the force times the delta T, is called the impulse. As Zion is coming down from the height of his jump, he has the same momentum regardless of what surface he's ultimately going to land on. As you can see though, whenever that surface gives and has a little bit of sort of squishiness to it, what happens is the force is able to act over a longer period of time. He's making contact longer, there's give in that surface, and so you have a longer delta T. What that means when your momentum is the same is that your force goes down. If you extrapolate this to the extreme, jumping and landing on hard concrete, there's no give. It's a very, very short time, which means the force has to be really, really high, more load on the joints. Compare that to landing on a soft pillow, your foot sinks down over a slower period of time, Delta T is higher, which means your force can be lower to give you that same change in momentum from the speed at which you just barely touch the ground to when you completely stop. So Zion jumping and landing on a softer surface 
is going to impart less force to his joints, therefore less force to that foot and the fracture that's recently been healing. So that's one explanation. This is a specialty core that's intended to decrease the amount of force being put through Zion's joints. And it all comes down to physics. The second is that maybe this is more of a traditional style court. Zion is just a heavier guy, and so he's compressing the hardwood more whenever he lands. Even if that were the case, not every court is going to ultimately have that same degree of forgiveness. And so if Zion is doing a lot of training on a court that has a lot of forgiveness, whenever he goes and plays on another court that might be firmer and might not give as much, that's going to put more force through his foot. I'm sure there's variability out there from one surface to another, maybe the surfaces he's been running on and playing on through his rehab, to what the Pelicans have, to what you might see around the NBA. So even if this is not a specialty court, this is just a standard NBA court like you'd find anywhere, the degree of flexibility that we see will probably be different here than it is somewhere else. And so when he goes somewhere else, that could put more force through his foot. In other words, there still is probably time that he needs to take to build up that functional load tolerance. All that physics aside, the fact that we see Zion out there doing this is absolutely fan freaking tastic news. I don't care if it's some squishy specialized rehab court and he's not gonna be back the rest of the season. The fact that he's made progress to be able to get out there and do this at this point is fantastic to see. We're still understandably a long ways off from seeing this type of explosiveness that he had before, but this is a necessary first step and really encouraging to see him make this progress. That's it for the video and I hope you enjoyed the quick physics lesson. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.